Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to make a video about junior golfers. I, uh, I train a ton of junior golfers and I have for a while now. Um, and something that always comes up is how old should my junior golfer start lifting weights? How old should my junior golf golfer start working out? And today I'm hoping that I can debunk some of that by showcasing five drills that I use with a lot of my junior golfers. So when it comes to weightlifting and it comes to working out for juniors, there is a lot of misinformation out there, to be honest. I mean, some people say you shouldn't work out when you're a junior. Some people say you should wait till you're a teenager to start working out. My philosophy is this. What is better for a kid to do? Sit in front of a video game all day or be in a controlled environment where they're learning how to do things such as run, throw, skip, jump, things that they should be doing outside in the playground. Unfortunately, with our world today, a lot of kids sit on devices all day or they sit in front of the TV all day. So maybe you shouldn't have worked out years ago when all they did was play outside because they were getting that physical activity and they were getting the ability to climb and run and jump. But today, a lot of our kids don't get that. So I try to bring a safe environment to allow them to explore movement in. And that's what I do with a lot of my junior golfers. What you're going to see in this video is you're going to see five exercises that I love to use with juniors. Now, when you look at these exercises, I'm not lifting heavy weights by any means. I am teaching them how to control their body and how to use their body and make something that is transferable to sport and make them athletic. Yes, I train golfers, but I'm creating athletes when I work out with people or when I train with people. So in this video, like I said, I will showcase five different exercises that I love for junior golfers. I hope you like it. Okay, for this first drill, we're gonna do a power drill. So this is a step to lateral bound. So first I'm gonna showcase the exercise and I'm gonna go through um, the key points to think about. Then I'm gonna actually just demonstrate the drill and do the reps that, that are required for what I'm doing here. So the first one, step to lateral bound. So I'm gonna start on one leg. I'm gonna step and jump. Come back to the start. So I start on one leg. I do a small step and then aggressively bound to the other side and balance on one leg. The whole time I'm jumping, I have a nice and tall, solid upper body. So let's do three reps per side, like I would actually um, program for one of my athletes. So, one leg up, step, jump. One, back. So you see, this is a powerful movement. Step, jump. Two, nice and good posture. Step, jump. Three, when we do power drills, we don't want to do a ton of volume. We want to do explosive, short, um, powerful reps. Okay, so the other side. We always do it on each side. So, step, jump. Step, to our jump. And you notice, when I come across, there is a little bit of a balance challenge, and that's fine. So, start on one leg, and jump. So, that would be my three reps. So, the first drill that I like to use with my junior athletes is a step to lateral bound, or a lateral jump. The next drill we're going to utilize is seated jumps. So you could do this off of a stair, you could do this off of a chair, you could do this off of your couch, or as I have here, a bench. So we're basically doing jump squats, but I like to teach proper alignment with juniors and really exploding from the ground up first, before we go into more squat jumps. So we start seated. The big thing I want to think here is I'm using my arms to drive up and my knees are gonna stay in line with my feet, so they're not gonna come in or out. So arms drive up, right up, back down, sit back down, that's one rep. So you see I'm using the ground to create force and drive up. So ground, up, right up, I land and I absorb the contact and I sit back down. So now I'm gonna show you five reps, okay? Good tall upper body, And there's five reps. So another explosive movement that we can use to create power with our junior athlete. I haven't touched the weight yet, but we're creating powerful, athletic juniors with these types of movements. Okay, on to the next one. 
This next drill is more of a strength based drill. So the first two drills we did were very power based where we were trying to be explosive. Now I'm working on strength and balance and I want to do this on a controlled slower manner. So we're going to have a bench or a block or a step, whatever you want. We're going to do step ups here with a ball. Okay. So I'm going to put one leg up onto that bench or up onto your step, whatever you have. The ball is going to start in my hand, in my chest. So I'm going to step right up and catch my balance and rotate away towards the leg that's up, back down, step back. So that's one. Drive your knee right up. See, I almost lost my balance. Rotate, back in, back down. The whole time my knee is staying in line with my foot, my knee is staying in line with my hip, and I have good posture. Those are the main keys you want to think of. So that was two, so let's do eight reps so you can see what eight reps actually looks like. So nice and tall, three, everything is under control the whole time, four, I'm not rushing, I'm not trying to be fast, I'm trying to feel my muscles engage as I go through this motion, six, nice and tall, keep your chest up the whole entire time, seven, one more. Eight. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to the other side. And if you notice, I did the first exercise on each side, one side at a time, this side, one side at a time. If you can, it's better to do more, it's called unilateral movements or one-sided movement to help decrease the chances of muscular imbalances um, and, and dysfunctions throughout your body. So, now we'll do the other side. Nice and tall. Drive up. Rotate towards the leg that's up. Down. One. Two. A little more of a balance down on this side for me. Three. So we're resisting rotation and we're resisting falling every time we stand up. And we're on an elevated surface, so we're raising our center of mass with every rep. Five. Three more. But you can tell this movement is a lot slower than those other movements that I were doing that were way more powerful. So you need power, you need strength, you need mobility, you need endurance, and you need stability. Hey, good. So that's the first strength one, focusing on our lower body. The next exercise is really gonna focus on our upper body. Okay, this next drill, is a staple in all my programs, not just junior programs. So this is a bear crawl. So again, we're not really using weight. I've got a band here that we can add a little bit of resistance. This is a very light band. It's very, this isn't really causing too much, but it activates my shoulders and the muscles in my back a little more. I'm gonna use the band just around my hands for today. Another way that you can progress this is put a band around your hands and around your feet, okay? With the bear crawl, we're really working on upper body strength as well as core stability. So we're really trying to keep everything in here solid throughout the movement, okay? So I'm gonna go across the screen here and you'll be able to see what I look like from the side. I'm gonna go forward and backwards, okay? Five per arm is the goal that we're gonna do here. But you'll notice in the setup position, when I get into my setup position, I am nice and straight on my back. So my bum is way up, my my, I'm not dipped through, I'm solid. So a good thing to do is kind of round your back, arch your back, come to neutral, and then lift your knees up. Now from here, I'm just gonna move opposite arm, opposite leg, and walk. Two, three, three. But well, you see, I'm still fairly straight in my back. Four, four, five, five. Now I wanna go backwards five too. One, one, two, two. This is a lot harder than the forwards, and it might seem easy. Three, three, but it's a lot more difficult to keep that straight back. Four, four, as you move. Five, five, good, and back to neutral. So that's all that one is, but that is extremely difficult to go back and forth like that. If five isn't enough for your junior athlete, you can increase that to 10, even 15, I've had, I've had athletes walk back and forth across almost a whole gym doing that once they got the endurance and strength to be able to hold that position. 
but a great drill to develop upper body strength and core stability for a junior athlete with really touching nothing other than a small band. If you don't have this band, obviously you can just do it with body weight and it's still a very effective exercise. So we've done two power drills, two strength drills, and we're gonna finish with a core drill um, to set it off for the fifth exercise. So let's go. Okay, for the last drill we have a core drill. And a lot of people think of the core as just like our abdominal muscles. But our core is actually pretty much our whole trunk and really bringing in our hip region into it as well. So if you look at me from the side, I'm kneeling. Okay, so I'm not sitting down like this. I'm kneeling, meaning my glutes are active, my core is active, and I'm nice and tall with good posture. So once you're in that position, you wanna have a band coming from the side of you. And this is the first time we've loaded up a movement, really. That last one wasn't anything like this. If you don't have a band, start with just moving your arms through this range of motion, being in this kneeling position. It'll still have an effect. So from this kneeling position, my arms start straight across, and all I'm doing is bringing them right through. Here, right through. Not letting this happen as I go. Keeping active here and everywhere here, and staying nice and tall. So let's go, eight reps. Three, Blow out as you come across. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, now let's go to the other side. I'm gonna be from the back here, but you'll still get to see how I don't sit down. So nice and tall and keeping everything active. Two, three, four, Six, seven, eight. So that's a great drill to really work on core stability and rotation around the upper and mid back. Very, very important for golf. So think about what we just did there. We did two power drills, two strength drills, and a core drill. There's a workout right there. That workout could be completed for the, the amount of reps I set for each one for three to five rounds. That's an excellent workout to start with for a junior golfer. Okay, so that's the video. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see, I created a great workout there with very minimal equipment. So we had five exercises. I would like you to do one to three rounds of that and see how that feels. If you like this kind of movement and you like this stuff and your junior athlete does, connect with me and we can talk about some training options for you. I train a lot of juniors over FaceTime or Facebook or Zoom or whatever, um, what kind of online platform you have. And it works really well because then obviously you don't have to go anywhere, take them anywhere. Um, and then they can work with me and we don't need a lot, of, a lot of equipment. And it's worked well with a lot of other juniors in the past. So if you are interested in, in doing some training with me, please connect with me. Um, but this is the kind of stuff that you start with and you progress and you get up to lifting weights and, and doing some of those harder complex movements. But you got to start with body weight and a little bit of resistance and learn how to control your body before you really load it up. And that's the kind of stuff that I can help junior athletes work their way up to and make sure when they get to be a teenager that they're on the right path to having a strong athletic figure. Thank you so much for, the, for supporting CSC Performance Coaching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you do like this content and you want to kind of continue and progress to training, please contact me. Stay safe, stay fit, and keep it going. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.